ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, students, uh, that's the European Defense Challenge 2021 Awards Ceremony. And uh, my name is Gualtiero Fantoni. I'm the coordinator and the spokesperson for the ASSET project. Next one, please. Eric, thank yeah. you. Um, our consortium uh, is uh, composed of uh, uh, more than 30 partners mainly uh, higher education and vocational and training institution, um, education providers for sure, but also companies, the biggest company in the defense, uh, um, in the defense sector. And we are more than uh, in eight countries. So we are 30 partners plus two associated partners. The project has been financed uh, within the Sector Skill Alliance Co within the Erasmus Plus and uh, the DG DFIS is supporting our project. Next one, please. So the partners are the one you can see, education and training providers, uh, several university, University of Pisa, Bordeaux, Olborg, Central Supelec, Redsov, Cadiz, Seville, the two university in Madrid, the Royal Military Academy, Mercantech, Aerocampus Aquitaine, Leonardo Training, the last four are VET providers. Uh, our industrial partners are Ansel, Airbus, Rolls-Royce, Navancia, Safran, Leonardo, and Saab. And we have uh, a research organization, Fondazione Giacomo Brodolini, an umbrella organization, and the certification institutes, institution that are fundamental for making the project ready to have an impact uh, at the training level in Europe. Moreover, we have several enablers that are uh, Chamber of Commerce, Association, or Technology Transfer Center. Plus, we have two associated partners uh, that are Record Brain and the EU Opportunity. Next one. The project uh, uh, wants to create a sustainable supply chain for the European defense industry. And the target uh, are the technologies uh, you can see in the figure on the left. So artificial intelligence, autonomous system, cybersecurity, C4I star, a military and, and defense technology, and robotics. The idea is creating uh, a, a sustainable a supply chain, a flywheel, uh, to support the defense sector. Actually, we start developing uh, occupational profile for the sector. We created, uh, we set up an observatory in order to map and keep uh, up, updated the skills uh, uh, necessary for the market and uh, ready to reduce the gap it exists between the, dem the demand and the offer. Moreover, this uh, European ecosystem will be uh, enabled thanks to a series of new education and training initiatives. Uh, try to focus first of all on the defense sector, but uh, looking also at surrounding sectors, for example, the aerospace that is very close to the defense. Next one, please. Uh, what we did during the first year, thanks to uh, the natural language processing algorithm, we made uh, an analysis, an automatic analysis of more than 500 technical documents, mainly scientific publication, white papers, documentation from national and international institutions, reports, and so on. Um, these, these documents were mainly focusing on AI and robotics, c 4 i star and cybersecurity. And thanks to this automatic analysis, but also with the support of our group of experts, we were able to develop a body of knowledge for the defense sector. Moreover, we stumbled on, on a new job profile and we noticed uh, 24 new skills. So we fed uh, ESCO, uh, so the, the, the group uh, studying and uh, developing uh, uh, the skill uh, panorama in uh, in Europe uh, with uh, uh, this new skill and not job profile. And moreover, we fixed some issue creating uh, uh, alternative labels for existing job profiles and also new connection between existing job profiles and uh, new skills. Next one. So uh, our project is focusing for sure on skills. Uh, but also on technologies and application, and the topic of the challenge are also about those. We are preparing a uh, um, new version for what we pre 
prepared during the first year, so the skill blueprint and the body of knowledge that will be upgraded year by year. Uh, one of the main points of our work this year is uh, the attraction of new talent, plus the upskilling and reskilling uh, initiative. So creating uh, uh, a contract between the new generation and uh, the experienced one in the company in order to create a big community of practice where the younger teach the, the older uh, with the, the digital and uh, vice versa, the new generation are fed with uh, information about uh, the, the history and the evolution of the technology. We are developing a full stack of training courses, both for vocational and educational training provider and uh, for higher educational institution. And uh, part of our pedagogical approach is also this uh, impossible challenge. Uh, the goal is uh, creating a portability of skills uh, through within the sector and through sectors very close sectors. Next one. The, our project uh, is also um, should be considered uh, uh, as a first step uh, toward the Pact for Skills. Uh, the Pact for Skills is uh, an initiative um, on aerospace and defense where our work can be considered the launch pad for the new one. We would like to put uh, at disposal of uh, the sector and other participants or stakeholders the results we got during this year. Uh, for that in particular, I would like to thank Electra Cigaridas from DG Defis for her continuous uh, support uh, of our initiatives. And also I'd like to thank uh, all the students who participated uh, in this challenging uh, European Defense Challenge, making it successful Moreover, I would like to stress the fact that the jury found some difficulties in selecting the best one. Actually, the 10 page proposals have been evaluated and for sure someone will win. But uh, the evaluation of the jury is the evaluation of the final result. But as you know, no one can evaluate except you the improvement you made thanks to the challenge. So it is the improvement, what you will take away. So that's my end of presentation. Good luck to the finalists. And uh, I give the floor to Eric Grivel, University of Bordeaux.